hello friends in this video we are going to learn how to connect wordpress to a mysql database right so whenever we uh, like you have any wordpress full project with a sql database so how you are going to connect it when you when you try to install the wordpress it will automatically says like which uh, what uh, username password then you will auto automatically connect where it will connect i will show you how right so any WordPress folder, this is my WordPress new folder. We have a WP config file, right? This is config file. So if there is any error that you're following, that means you, here you need to put the WordPress DB name, DB user, DB password, DB host. DB host may be IP or maybe the local host, right? So here you need to configure for connecting the WordPress to any of the MySQL database, right? So if this these connections are correct and the database ex uh, and you have all the tables regarding the WordPress then it will directly connect it and you did and you are able to assess your website right so these parameters are required for connecting the database to a WordPress right so suppose if I change this one right but it says if I go and reload this page can't select DB means WordPress new database unknown because it doesn't exist right if I suppose I make it one or two something here see what error it will return warning says denied for the user that means PHP SS denied is not allowed for this user that means username is not correct for the use DB user if I save this I'm going to run this it will show so all the uh, connect connectivity to the WordPress, it's managed by the WP config folder, config file, and which exists in which folder, your directory, and it's on the root. Sample file, it's this one. But whenever you try to install uh, via UI, so it will automatically generate this file. If it has no permissions, then it says you can't select the DB or something like that because it requires permissions to create this file here right so i hope you understand what exactly how to connect to the wordpress to a mysql database if you have any query and the questions just let me know in the comment box thank you so much have a great day